What's good, everyone? It's your boy Toto here, back with another reaction. We're here with Season 3, Episode 2 of Umbrella Academy. Honestly, the ending of the first episode was honestly pretty um, fantastic. It ends with um, us showcasing the end of the world. We get to see that Diego has a son, which is kind of cool, and I really want to see more of uh, Ash's character. Well, I'm going to keep calling him Ash, but his name was uh, Stanley. I really want to see more of him, see like some action, see if he has any powers, which would be pretty cool to see. And I also want to see what happens, uh, how Five finds out about the end of the world, what they do with that. I want to see them get a rematch against, you know, Sparrow Academy, obviously. I, I want to see them get a rematch because they got their asses handed to them, as Luther said. And he sort of has, like, some, like, brain issues now, which is kind of weird. Like, I guess he has, like, a concussion. I mean, it's kind of funny. Like, the comedic aspects of the show are honestly pretty, pretty liable, I guess. And they're pretty funny, too. And I really want to see more of, uh, of, um of the action between Sparrow Academy and Umbrella Academy uh, because, like, they need a rematch because, yeah, like I said, they got their asses handed to them. So, without further ado, let's let's go. The poor dog, bro. <laughs> ah! Oh, she's going to get to see her That's daughter. That's fine. Uh, uh, she's honestly sad I because she didn't get to see her at all because she was in the 60s like last season. Mommy. Mommy. Huh. <laughs> Time changed. Who the hell are you? <laughs> Something is wrong. What do you expect? The whole timeline's changed. Something is this gift of a lifetime. I feel so it's bad for Vanya, bro. Like she finally I found somebody who she loved. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> well, technically she's family. She was trying to murder us, like Yesterday, yeah, like I said, family. Yeah, she's coming back. <laughs> she got down. Do anything today except bond with your spawn. Alleged spawn. I will get the brief. Don't you go tell that to Allison, who's upstairs grieving her daughter who doesn't even exist here. Not to mention, we've been replaced by or a bunch Allison. of blobs and cubes. And Is he wearing aftershave? <laughs> I'm concerned. Is like the, the shock getting bigger and bigger? Like eventually gonna take out the whole earth or something? Here, huh? hey, 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 what the hell are you doing? Your son stuffed three mini muffins down his pants. <laughs> and this is a buffet. Take it easy. Time for some ground rules, right? How about no physical assault? That's a shut up. <laughs> and listen. My father was a Hall of Fame asshole. And when I was just a little piss hand like you, I made a promise to myself that I would never act like him to any kid of mine. Yeah, stop. I'm gonna cry. But I'm busy, <laughs> man. When a lot of your mom gets back, all right? But no more doing dumb shit. Or else you and I are gonna have a serious problem. Look at me. Okay, Diego. Am I doing this? This man's gonna be a good father. Oh, I, I, yeah. I forgot to pack my ear medicine. Oh, shit. Ear medicine, huh? If I don't drain <laughs> it, uh, pus leaks on me. I'll be right back. No, no, no. I need you to stay put and not do anything stupid until I get the briefcase. Yeah, and you're not the boss of him, okay? <laughs> She's just trying to help out, bro. Oh, they probably think he, they, uh, that he did something to Marcus. He's dead. It is so good to see you again, buddy. Why does everyone keep looking at me like that? Because you've been dead for 15 years. Dead? What do you mean, dead? <laughs> and, uh, before I forget, if you try to escape, Faye's birds will peck your eyes out and make a nest inside your skull. <laughs> yes. So, what do you like to do for fun? <laughs> Bro, I can't. I can't this. imagine her pain. Go. I don't think that's gonna fix it. I was on the ass end of a two. Klaus is gonna end up sleeping with himself. Like it's, it's gonna be. Well, can you really call what we had a family? No, I mean it's more like an institute for snarky delinquents. <laughs> and you know, uh, let's go find your stupid mother. <laughs> it's a nice way to put it. Love you too, tiny dancer. Go wait outside. Why? I'm 
have to kick this fool's ass. Don't worry about your back. <laughs> I'm hoping that he has powers, to be honest. Like, I really want to see him play. Father and son action. Pretty dope. <laughs> well, isn't this a Kawiki dick? The only thing I see is yours, tough guy. Hey, <laughs> hey, yo. Dude, your chin. Does that sometimes. <laughs> oh, you getting tired, you know? The car's getting weaker? <laughs> Not. <laughs> Bro, help him. What are you doing? <laughs> Fuck me! Yeah. Hey! <laughs> what? No way! We were kicking their asses. He who fights and walks away. What the? Did you have ruined the Amish for me forever? In here. <laughs> Tell me a little bit more about that family of yours before they decide to come and rescue you. Where are you guys staying anyway? Oh, just some dumpy hotel downtown. Oh my God, she's literally hotel. just gonna trap me. Well, it's a crime. It's going farther and farther. You don't oh, can't I get one fucking day off? <laughs> I wasn't sure what kind you like best. Are you feeding the orb? Could you like bring your milk and cookies or something? Did she die again? She passed October 1st, 1989. Oh. She died giving no, birth? It's just, it's, it's my... Start the car, would you? Oh, <laughs> Allison, are you okay? I like it. Nah, cause she went through so much in the 60s, like dealing with the racism and stuff. Sorry. Is he taking a leak? Who was that guy? What is he? Don't forget your tote bag. <laughs> they really gave him a gift bag. Oh, is Lila? Yeah. Things look so bad. They're honestly a cute couple. She reminds me of the, like, the Scarlet Witch. I don't know. I don't know why. Good for him, man. He's been like so sad. I mean, sort of like since season one. So it's good to see him happy. Okay, guys, that was episode two of season three of Umbrella Academy. And honestly, it was a pretty good episode. Not as good as uh, episode one. I, just my personal opinion. But I mean, it was cool to see the action with father and son dynamic uh diego and, and his son stanley that's pretty funny the uh the comedic aspect of that fight was pretty cool like when he's like throwing the cans and like you know he's like but we're kicking their asses i mean they're a cool duo it's kind of it's kind of something i want to see more of i definitely want to see more of stanley and i want to see more of their his relationship with his father and i want to see more of lila and all of them together as a family and like honestly besides that though i really want to I, I really honestly i feel bad i feel bad for allison like expect like first off with her losing her daughter her daughter not existing at all like in season season two like she went through so much with the racism and like seeing her, her her um her husband abused like by racists you know by the cops and by um the people in that in the, like that shop like it was honestly very sad and now that she comes back expecting to see her daughter and expecting to be happy and the fact that her daughter is just gone it's heartbreaking it's it's very and also besides that i mean the fact that when klaus was going to look for his mom and what's pretty crazy is like all of their all of their mother's dead. And like we need to learn more about that. Obviously, I really I'm excited to find out what happened with the paradox, the, well, the grandfather paradox, and why all their all their uh, mothers are dead because they don't have fathers because of, you know the incident of them right the getting pregnant. And like obviously, I want to figure out what happened, and I want to see what happens with when five uh finds like um what five like like his solution for this is because five is like the genius of the group. He's the mastermind. He's the brain of the group. He's the one who is my favorite character. That's why I love him. He's like so witty and like um like he can't get a break. Like as he tried to retire, he cannot get a break. And so like I, I just want to see what's up with that. And also like that, that that random guy who was following Allison 
That's strange. Yeah, I want to see what his deal is. See, see what's up with him. Obviously, we need to find out because he just seems like a perv right now. That's my opinion. And uh, <laughs> um, besides that, like, it's a good show. And I'm excited to see what is happening uh, and what is going to happen next on uh, episode three. But anyways, uh, if I seem awkward, I'm sorry. Like, I'm reading off of notes that I've been taking. I try to take notes during the episode just to, like, you know, um, help me remember for the outro. And if I seem nervous during intros, it's because I'm new at this. And so just give me time to more relax and more comfortable in the videos. But anyways, if, you like, if you're enjoying my, my content and, like, you like me, if you, just make sure to subscribe. Like down below. Tell me. Give me feedback in the comments. Tell me what I can do better. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. And Yeah. Uh, my socials will be, be also be down below in the description. And that's it. So, peace.